Hey guys, my name is Lebsa and welcome to Traders Room SA talking all things Forex. So if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and I'd like to thank everyone for 20,000 subscribers. So the community has been growing on a daily basis and the goal is to get to 50,000 before the year ends. So guys, I'd really appreciate it if we get this video to 2,000 likes, you know, so that I know that you guys do appreciate this type of content. So in today's video, I will be trying Forex signals for the period of one week. Uh, like I said in the previous challenge that I did, I personally believe in mentorship over signals. If you guys have not seen part one of me trying out Forex signals for a week, make sure that you click out of this video and you watch that video first because in part one, I lay out the basic foundation of what this series is about. And for those who did watch part one, know that the results were just crazy, guys. So guys, since it is part two, I will be trying a different signal provider out so that we can try maximize on our trades and try get a different result from the previous video. But before we get into all of that, I'd just like to read a few comments from the previous video. All right, so the very first comment is from uh, Lugu Tonguenya and he says, amazing content, the quality and everything is top class. Man, I really appreciate that I do take time and I've invested a lot into giving you guys the best quality. So shout out to you and thank you. We have another comment from Lungi Lembati and he says, great informative video, my guy. You should have at least mentioned how many signals uh, that were issued for the week and the win and loss ratio i will be doing that in this video thank you for that advice and the last comment for today uh, is by tyrese Pillay, and he says nice video bro good to see different content uh, can you please consider doing part two with the south african signal provider and broker not a problem the previous video was a south african signal provider and I will be continuing with another South African provider. And guys, XM is the best broker. And that's the broker I've been using for this challenge. Check them out in the link below. Cheers. Hey, what's up traders? So it is currently Sunday and the time is 11 p.m. So for those who've seen part one, uh, you guys already know that I'm really strict in terms of keeping a diary and a trading plan. So the very first rule I'll be sticking to in this video, I'll be only risking 3 to 5% per trade. The second rule that I'll be sticking to is I will only be placing three trades at a time. That's the maximum amount of trades I'll take at a single time. And then the third rule is no revenge trading guys that is important in the market so guys the fourth rule uh, is going to be a bit different from the previous video and what's exciting is that i will be taking nasdaq and us 30 signals so you're probably asking yourself how i'll stick to risk management so guys the broker for today's video allows me to take lower lots on nasdaq and us 30 which helps me stick to risk management but i'll explain that tomorrow because i am tired it is 11 pm and yeah guys it's time to go sleep for me i'll see you tomorrow when the challenge starts peace Hey, what's up, traders? So it is a beautiful day to be outside. It is currently Tuesday and I have very good news for you guys. We just executed our very first trade. And yeah, guys, I'll roll the clip right now. Uh, hey, what's up, traders? So I wanted to document me taking the very first setup and it is a NASDAQ trade. It's quickly leaving me because I was still setting up my camera, but this is the first official trade of the challenge executed yo we already in profits guys it hasn't even been a second but that's what i wanted to document before getting anywhere but let me just set my stop losses and now I'll talk to you guys just now all right guys so for today's challenge things are a bit different and you guys can see that i just executed a nas 100 trade and you're probably asking why and you're probably thinking about risk management but 
the broker that I'm using, which is XM Markets, allows me to go uh, a lower lot on NASDAQ, so it's less risky for me. And the nice thing about the broker is that the minimum deposit is $5 and you know they have amazing benefits like bonuses and guys let me just show you the trades so far and yeah so guys the nice thing about this setup is that we haven't had a drawdown yet guys and i decided to enter a second trade because it's a very high probability trade all right guys so i didn't enter the signal blindly I was on my trading view just to get a bit of perspective on what the signal provider might be seeing. So guys, let's jump onto my laptop and let's see how the risk to reward ratio is looking like and all of that good stuff. Cheers. What's up guys? So just to give you a bit of perspective of what the signal provider might be seeing, uh, on the one hour chart, we have a very strong support level. Uh, where the market is failing to break you guys can see that the market worked out and got back in and then if you zoom in you see a very nice reversal candlestick uh, so if we dive down to the 30 minute time frame we, you guys can see more candlestick formation that represent a potential reversal towards the upside then if we dive into onto the 15 minute charts rather you will see a double bottom that has formed right over here, right? So diving down to the five minute time frame, we ended up executing our trades by this area. And then I saw another potential to scale in or get a better entry rather. And right now we're just waiting for the market to push up and give us uh, a good risk toward ratio. Guys, <clears throat> day one and look at these results, guys. So, it is almost uh, half past, you know, I'm going to liquidate a few positions, but I will quickly want to show you uh, what's going on on the laptop and why I'm closing some positions. And yeah. All right, guys, my connection is a bit slow, so I'll show you over here. It is almost the opening of New York session and I'm going to close two positions. Boom. Close position. And then I'm going to put stops above before the crazy half past move. So guys, awesome day, man. I'm really happy and excited. Boom. Yeah, and we save. Account is up. By 20% already. This is crazy, guys. 30. Mm, guys, this is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at the volatility, man. Mm, mm, mm. The beauty of Forex. Mm. Guys, look at this. This is awesome. So traders, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this trade and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Honestly, I'm satisfied with the profits. I'm not taking any other signal because I'm satisfied. 20% first day. And you can see I still have a position. So we can easily say that's like 25 slash 30%. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's up traders? So it is half past uh, 11 right now and it is a wednesday so just to give you a quick update on the account we are currently on 111 dollars uh yesterday we closed at 121 dollars but uh today we just took a bit of a loss uh, i personally stuck to my risk management and yeah you get days like these in the markets where you have a lot of volatility but so far guys i'm personally happy with this amount you know if you were trading a hundred uh thousand rand account 11 percent would be eleven thousand rand so we're talking about a lot of money guys i've had a long day so i can't really show you uh the charts right now because i am tired but in the meantime uh get the very first 
uh, I tried Forex signals for a week to 50,000 views. I know you guys can do it. And check out the interviews I've done and just subscribe to Traders Room SA. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, what's up traders? So today is a Thursday and I have really good news for you. I'm sure yesterday you saw that we were in a bit of a drawdown, but uh, I've been holding certain trades for two hours now. We had setups that were sent this morning and let me just show you how everything is looking like right now. Yeah, guys, so that's how the markets look right now. We're running in good profit. I'm gonna show you how everything's looking like on my laptop and guys uh, today we have more positions that's gonna require me to maintain them throughout the day and another piece of advice I'd give you is that if you are gonna take signals you really need to know what's going on in the market because it's one thing to get a signal but maintaining one is something else you know you need to be ready psychologically but you know what let's take a look at my laptop and let me show you how some of these positions look like on the market so guys right now we are in a usd jpy trade we are currently in profit right now and yeah the risk to reward ratio is one to five which is good we're running in profits right now and then if i go to gbp usd you can see that we had our very first entry out over here let me zoom out It's a bit choppy but we are in profit with a good risk to reward ratio of uh, 1 is to 3 and it would give us 80 pips profit and the other trade euro usd so with this signal over here i closed it on break even before it fell and that's how this one's looking like and yeah guys that's it Yo, what's up traders? So today is the final day of the challenge. We ended up closing uh, trades yesterday and the overall profit was $41 for the Thursday. We had take profit on GU, we had take profit on uh, gold and we had take profit on USD JPY. And the only loss we had was the Euro USD trade. You know, I'd be lying to you if I told you that I'm a perfect trader. Guys, today's signal was just amazing it was a sniper entry but guess what i messed it up so guys so for today's signal i took a 11 dollar loss which is close to 12 dollars and guys the reason why i say i messed up this trade is because this trade would have taken the account above 200 dollars guys look at this setup we had entries right over here by this red candlestick and as i was contemplating on whether i should hold this trade because i was driving and i couldn't manage it this thing literally shot up throughout the day and guys this is over 300 pips guys over 500 pips i'm sure guys honestly i'm really happy with the result so far and the account is on 142 dollars i'll close the video off tomorrow i'm really tired i've had a long day i've been driving and guys Thank you for tuning in. Hey guys, today is the big day and we finally made it to the end of the challenge. Honestly speaking, I'm very happy with the results. So we ended up closing the challenge at a 42% gain. That means I made $42 in profit. Like I said, if this was a 100,000 Rand account, we'd be up by 42,000 Rand in the space of one week. So honestly speaking, for me, those results are extremely good. I'm more than happy, but I have my diary over here and let me just run you through this week's results. So throughout the week, we took eight signals and out of those eight signals, we won five signals and only lost three. Honestly speaking, that is a really good uh, win ratio. Honestly speaking, that is a really good win ratio compared to the previous challenge that we did. 
It was completely terrible, but honestly speaking, shout out to the signal provider. Last but not least, I will be placing a withdrawal on the account so that you guys know that it is real. And other than that, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Tell me what you liked about this video or what you think about the signals in the comment section below. And guys, road to 50,000. And I really appreciate you guys coming on to today's video. And I'll see you in the next video from me signing out. Cheers.